Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to build ninjassins, ninja assassins. And yes, they got nerfed um, in this recent patch. So ninjas did get a reduction in 10% damage. So they went down from 80% to 70%. And assassins just got reduced critical strike damage as well. I believe overall assassins lost somewhere around from 25% to 30% extra crit strike damage so essentially the assassins and the ninjas both got nerfed but are they still viable they still are ninja assassins are still quite strong so i decided to make this video on how to build ninja assassins in almost every game possible because it is completely doable it's just that you need to know what you're doing so in the first phase which is the shared carousel phase we went for brahm and the reason why I went for Braum is the needlessly large rod. One of my favorite items to build on Ninjassins is the locket. And yes, the locket is not as powerful once again as it used to be, as the shield no longer gives you 300 shield, but just 200. But what you essentially want to do is build several lockets if you can, at least two. Uh, I'm just going to buy some champions to put on the board here. It doesn't matter which champions you buy. Uh, with this selection that as you guys saw, there are no assassins. What you're looking for with ninja assassins is strictly two types of units. Ninjas or assassins. Well, sorry, ninjas and assassins. You're looking for strictly just ninjas and assassins. At the moment, you can buy all these champions because this is the first round. And you might as well just pick up some champions along the way that will help you survive to build into assassins and ninjas. Here is our first a set of assassins, as you guys see, which are the double Kha'Zix. So we're gonna go ahead and, ahead and purchase them. Once again, you're gonna be trying to choose items in the shared carousel um, for the lockets. You wanna build at least one or two, and it is completely doable every game as there are many shared carousel phases. So you're not gonna have a hard time finding the items to build locket. The, the locket uh, builds from the large rod and the chain vest. So if you just know these two items, the large rod and the chain vest, you're gonna know exactly which items to go for in the shared carousel phase. So that's why we picked up the Braum. He had the large rod and there we go. We got a chain vest from a minion drop, which means we're gonna be good to go to build a locket. Let's see if we get something else. We got another item here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna buy the double Warwicks. Um, I could have also bought the Fiora, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the Warwick here. So right now we're trying to just survive to build into Ninja Assassins. The thing with Ninja Assassins is that um, if you don't get Assassins very early, as you guys see, my Assassin luck in this game actually isn't that great. Um, you're gonna need to survive. So let's just buy a couple of champions here that may help survive Warwick. Um, and we're actually gonna build a locket. So let me just put it at least, and we'll put a locket on, I'm gonna put it on Warwick, and I'm gonna put a recur bow on him. Just because I know I'm gonna sell the Warwick. And this, I know first of all, we're gonna build a locket no matter what. And that's why I just built it. We're gonna sell the Warwick. Um, so I built the locket on him, give the extra shield to survive, and then just gave him a recur bow. I could have also given him a BF sword, now these items could have possibly been better on Lulu than Warwick, um, for sure. But uh, once again, you know I'm just looking to survive here. Warwick is my strongest unit at the moment, and that's that's why I kind of gave him all the units. But um, these items could also be really good on Lulu because Lulu with a lot of attack speed, some ability, power, and armor could help her boost her wild growth. So maybe I should put it on Lulu, but it doesn't matter. We almost won that round anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pl place the Shen. And then we're gonna buy the Elise. So we're just gonna be collecting cheap um, two star units, which we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell all these guys once we get our assassins up. So once again, that's the goal. Our goal is to just go for ninja assassins. I'm gonna put a Varus so we get a mana burn actually. Um, as I noticed that they both do demon burn here. We collected a Shen first ninja. Remember, guys, just ninjas. So the ninjas are Akali, Shen, um, Zed, and Kennen those you guys want to collect and then you're going to want to get um rest of them assassins now i don't need to sell anybody right now because i know i can't be a 10 gold at the moment so that's that's why that you always need to think about building income as well every turn 
And you want to be at stages of 10 gold every round, right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So you get maximum income. Um, per round, but we can't be at 10 gold anyways because I wouldn't want to sell any of these guys yet and uh, This round we can possibly be at 10 gold. There's a pike. So that's an assassin pike is also really good um, So I like to have pike around in an assassin team. It's good to see him and if I sell It'll be two gold for Lulu one for Darius two one. I can put four units here as well um, Let's put a pike. Yeah, let's put a pike one one pike is pretty decent early game so one, two, one, two, three, five. So if we win this round, I'm gonna sell all these guys because we're gonna be at nine gold and we'll be pushed to 10 gold for next turn. And we should be seeing some more assassins soon as well because you do see quite a few Zeds, Pikes early on if um, you know you get sort of lucky, right? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna sell everybody because we win this round, we're gonna be at 10 gold. And I'm saving this BF sword. Now, why am I also saving that sword? Um, once again, I could be using that sword, but one item you also kind of want to try to build, aside from lockets for ninja assassins, is the Yumu's Ghost Blade. And the Yumu's Ghost Blade on Kennen is amazing. What I like to do for Kennen is go for double lockets and a Yumu's Ghost Blade, um, if possible. For a third item just because cannon assassin is absolutely devastating also making cannon into an assassin reduces your um, six assassin requirement here which is quite big so we're going to pick up a chain vest because all of them are negatron clubs once again we're looking to build at least a second locket which is uh, pretty simple to do in most cases because the item drop rate uh, is pretty balanced now you do get a lot of items if you don't get a lot of items in the beginning of the round when you get a bunch of gold coins in the later rounds, you will get more items, so don't worry about that. They, Riot did adjust that kind of uh, mechanic, so they made sure that everyone will almost always get a fair amount of items. So we got a um, couple more assassins here. We're going to sell the Voli. Actually, we're going to keep the Voli Bear for now. And we're actually going to go for triple assassins at the moment, as we can get early assassin bonus, which will most likely be stronger than the Elise and um, the Varus itself. And... We're also going to get a wild attack speed bonus for Rengar and Warwick, as they're both wild. And notice, of course, how I'm positioning my guys right next to Warwick, because you want the shield bonus, of course. And I'm going to actually, let's see, 3, 5, 8... I can't push myself to 10, 20 gold, so there's no point of selling these guys. Uh, by holding them onto the bench as well, you're, you're also taking them away from your opponents. And these are some very popular units. Right now, demons are crushing it. Bear is always popular, so it's always kind of good to snag them off the bench. Here we go, we see another one, so we got a Zed, finally. And then, um, yeah, I'll just still keep this composition on the board. I was thinking about putting the Zed instead of the Warwick, but the Warwick gives a tax speed bonus for Rengar, which is really good. And he is at two stars, so we're going to just keep him at the board. And I might be able to push for 20 gold this turn if I can uh, win. So let's see if we're gonna win. Or I guess I don't have to win. I can just sell these guys. Yeah, let's just let's just sell the Bully Bear and the Elise, so we're at 20 gold. Um, and I'm thinking of maybe buying a Lissandra. Sometimes with nin Ninjassins, you have space for Elementalists. And Elementalists and Ninjas work together because Kennen is already an Elementalist. The issue is um, you rarely get to that stage because you need to make you need to fill up the six assassin conditions so we're actually gonna kind of hold off on buying a Lissandra because I almost never get to the elementalist when I do ninja assassins because you you don't have enough space usually so there we go we got our second ninja and uh, yeah once again this is a game where we're not super lucky on our assassins I'm gonna level up here because in a lot of my games I would see um, I would definitely see a lot more assassins than just these guys. So in this round, you'll want to position um, your assassins in the left-hand corner so they jump to the right-hand corner. They jump to the same spot. That's how assassins work. They'll always jump to the same, op same, si same spot on the opposite side of the map. So that's why I put put all of them on the left hand while I put Kha'Zix in the front here with Warwick because Kha'Zix is going to be in direct contact. Kha'Zix will be in direct contact with uh, the rock. So when the assassin has 
an enemy champion or a minion that's right in front of them, they won't jump. They'll just attack that minion or, or I mean, the minion or the champion. So that's how it works, anyways. Uh, once again, seeing no assassins here, I'm almost tempted to just start rolling. I hate rolling this early, but I have to, kind of. Okay, so we just need an Akali. And we're pretty much set. So once again, we're just going to keep all the assassins. I'm going to roll one more time. Um, yeah. I'm going to stop here. Yeah, so we're not getting super lucky with the assassins. Maybe there are a couple assassins. There aren't many assassin players. Yeah, there's like one cannon. There isn't too many. Like this guy, a couple of them have cannons. Uh, but not many of them have assassins. So my luck with assassins is pretty bad. Because not many people are going for them. Especially also with the assassin nerf, um, they've the the play the amount of assassin play that I've been seeing as well in rank mode has dropped significantly as the assassins have dropped in power and so did the ninjas. So I should be seeing a lot more Zeds and Pikes. Uh, maybe not as much of the Pikes because Pikes still work with the pirates, but definitely should be seeing more Zeds, a bit more assassins. So we see another Pike in our Rengar. And uh, I'm gonna level up. I'm not leveling, sorry. I'm just gonna roll. We're gonna get that Shen. And um, I think I'm gonna put the Shen instead of the Zed. Because Shen is at two stars. Yeah, and then we're gonna just. We're just gonna stay this way. I wanna put the cannon on the board and put the lockets on him. The issue is. Cannon is still as one star. He has he is still very very strong. Um, his maelstrom does a lot of damage, but yeah, I mean you want to get two stars at this point of the game. We are kind of in the mid game, and shoot, uh, I'm gonna sell the Cater. I'm gonna sell the Katarina. I want to be at twenty gold. We won't have space for Katarina at the moment. The first gold you want to do with Ninjassins is get the four assassins. Uh, when you put four, sorry, four ninjas. When you put four ninjas on the board, you usually don't have space for six assassins right away. We need one spatula with the BF sword, sword for the Yumu's Ghost Blade as well. I think I'm going to just sell him. I'm going to put the cannon now. Um, I'm going to just, you know what? We're just going to start doing this. We're going to, actually, we're going to level up as well. We're going to remove the Shen. Let's put another pike. And let's put an Evelyn. So just all assassins. Let's put another chain vest on cannon. Because I'm, I'm going to definitely try to go for double lockets. Um, and it's definitely doable. We just need... We just need uh, that one large rod. This guy already has a 3 star Darius. Pretty tanky team with red buff Garen. We're probably not going to cut through them. Yeah, it's not going to happen. And... Yeah, we're not going to sell anybody yet, because Rengar is close to two stars. And you'll have to choose between Rengar or Katarina for the six assassins. In most cases, I like Rengar by itself better. If you have Katarina, uh, she needs a lot of support, or she can't pull her ult off, which kind of sucks. So I need that Gnar. Oh, I thought I was going to go for that Gnar. I was scared. There was no uh, spatula here, so I just needed one spatula. So once again, you're trying to go for uh, Yumu's Ghost Blade and one or two lockets. So you can make cannon into an assassin, and you're going to put double lockets on cannon as well. You're going to put all your items on cannon. But the thing is, the thing is right now, we're not getting them uh, cannons. We have to see at least one Akali as well. We will definitely see Akali at some point. That is going to be happening. It, just, it will be a matter of time here. Okay, we got a cat. I'm just gonna buy a cat. Okay, I'm gonna roll down a little. There we go. Got we got the four ninjas. So we're gonna put them on the board now. I'm gonna give Kenan the blade as well because uh, I'm gonna roll down a little bit here. Got a Shen. Boom! There we go. We got four ninjas on the board with um, with some assassins here. And Blitz is gonna pull the Shen, so that's good. And I gave him the BF sword because I'm ready to make him into an assassin. Give him give him all the items possible right now at the moment if possible. And we're fighting the triple star Darius again, which is quite unlucky. Because I could have fought someone else, not this guy, because I'm not ready to beat him yet. His team is just too good for me right now. 
So, yeah, that's a little bit unlucky. Yeah, I could have pushed myself for 20 gold there, but I don't know which is going to be my... Which is going to be the stronger ones here, depending on the assassins we get. There we go, we finally got another Zed. I'm going to sell the Katarina once again, get the Kha'Zix. Once again, we're trying to build a team of strong two, three-star assassins here, right? So we got a Kenny. Okay, let's pick up the cannon. We'll put the Evelyn on the board. She's at two, two stars. So we'll put another Evelyn. Wow, look at all these guys with three stars already. He's already he's got a three star Lucian with Guardian Angel. That's incredible. Yeah, the thing with Ninja Assassins is that they're kind of a late game build. Six Assassins don't come until late game. Akali doesn't come into mid late game. He's gonna just kill everybody here. That sucks. Um Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to have to see what we get here. There we go. We got a Zed. Much needed Zed, finally. We need two more Akalis. So we got to think about how many Assassins we're going to have. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got to decide on keeping Pike or Rengar. I think I'll just sell the Rengar. I was thinking about doing Rengar um, instead of Pike, depending on if we got a two-star Rengar first over a two-star Pike. But Pike is really good. It's just that he is more popular than Rengar, so Rengar would be easier to level up, and that's why I wanted to kind of keep the Rengar here. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're doing okay. As you guys can see, the power of Ninja Assassins has kind of dropped a little bit for sure. You know, Assassins losing losing 25% critical strike damage in the early game kind of really hurt them as well um, and then this should say all ninjas gain 70% attack damage that that's probably just a user interface glitch so let's keep let's roll down a little bit here I need one more cannon and our team is gonna be really good okay we got some more Zeds I'm gonna put a Zed instead of uh, one of these guys let's take out the Kha'Zix yeah, because you can put as much ninjas as you... I can also take out one assassin as... Um, there's only three, so we still haven't got the Yumus, which is unfortunate. I'm definitely going to try to do a Dragon's Claw, I think, on... I'm thinking on Zed. Zed will be three stars fast. Because uh, he's probably the least bought out of the ninjas. Uh, Zed and Shen. The most ninjas that get bought are... I want to push to... Let's push a Tangle. I just sold the Evelyn. I need to make some income here for rolling. Yeah, so Shens and, Shens and Zeds are very easy to get to 3 stars usually. So I like to collect them more than the other ones. Um, so if you can get Zed to 3 stars and Shen to 3 stars, you're going to be in a really good spot. Yeah, we're not seeing that Kenny. Damn. But we're seeing a lot of Zeds. There we go. We got the Pike. Pike definitely going on the board because Pike is really strong. Yeah, so we'll put the Pike on the board. Uh, he's at two stars now. And um, yeah, this is kind of the strongest combo we can do. I'm definitely doing Dragon's Claw, I think, on Zed. So I'm just going to give him a Negatron Cloak. Dra Dragon's Claw is really, really good, by the ways, right now. Uh, because there are so many champions that rely on active skills. This guy's team is really strong. The demons are just dominating right now. Like, nobody can use their skills. Right? And Ninja Assassins actually rely a lot on their skills. So what happens is they burn my mana before I can do anything here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I gotta start saving gold, but... Oh god. I really need the extra cannon here. Cannon's just not showing up. Damn, that sucks. But yeah. It's not, not, not looking good right now. It's not looking good, guys. We are about to die. Um, I could just do Zeke's instead of the Cannon Assassin, but I'm gonna, in the next share carousel, I will be first pick since I'm dead last. I will survive at least once, even if I lose. So I'm gonna go for a spatula. There has to be a good chance for a spatula. There really has to be a good chance. I, I see myself getting that spatula. 
so yeah, there's that. So we're gonna try to get that spatula. There should be one spatula here. Yep, there is one spatula right there. Uh, Sword of Divine, Blade of the Ruined King. Blade of the Ruined King's great item. Sword of Divine is a trap. Yeah, if you see this item, I wouldn't get it. But the Kale is good, so I'd probably get it for the Kale if you needed the Kale in your comp. But yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what's happening to Ninja Assassins right now. They're they used to be really good early to mid, and they would actually kind of fall off in the late game. But now it's kind of like they're bad in early to mid if you don't roll into a uh, quick two star uh, two star cannon and two star Akali. You need to get them the two stars. Akali has a massive power spike at two star. She's good at one star, but she also got a health nerf. Akali itself got a nerf. Cannon got attack damage reduced as well. So ninjas got really, really hurt in this patch, and that's why they see very little play. They're less consistent. You have a higher chance of dying now before you even get to these guys. Um, there we go, we got the cannon. I had to do that, I had to, because I need to roll down to a cannon. Uh, if I don't, it's gonna be like pretty much GG. I want to really go for Dragon's Claw. I have two more rounds, we're going to fight the Raptors. I think I can survive, especially we have two-star cannon. Oh my god, this guy has a Sorcerer, Aatrox, Guardian Angel, and Guardian Angel on cannon. We might not survive to see the day, guys. Let's see. I think, honestly, the Zephyr would have, wouldn't have helped me survive anyways. Yeah, his team is just too good. Um, yeah, we're going to definitely die next turn if I don't win. So I've got to try to hang on here. I've got to try to hang on. Actually, I could also just level myself up. Put six assassins on the board. I would need 14 gold. I think I'm going to do it because... Oh, damn it. Okay. I did a bit of a miscalculation there. Yeah, never mind. I did I did a miss I did a miscalculation there. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have spent the gold like that, but um Yeah, I should have waited one more turn. I was off by two gold. My quick maths didn't work. Unfortunately. Okay. Alright, my bad, guys. Okay, but now we can do six assassins. When you're level seven, you can do six assassins. That's why I was trying to level myself up there. Um, I didn't need the Shens. Shen will pro. I don't think I'll even make it to. If I don't survive, it's over. I won't make it to survive. I won't, I won't survive until Shen. Three stars anyway. I kept the two stars dead. Because I can't sell them. There we go. We got six assassins. At level seven, this is your kind of your ninja assassin team. And now what we need is we need a Negatron cloak for sure for Zed. We need a Dragon's Claw. Yeah, so we can still try to go for top four. With ninja assassins, it is completely possible to get fourth place. It's completely possible. It's not impossible for sure. It's hard to be first and second now because there's just stronger comps than Ninja Assassins. There we go, we got a Dragon's Claw, which is gonna be really good. Uh, and then we just need a Z three stars. Kha'Zix three stars is good too. Looks like Kha'Zix is gonna be three stars first. Not not really sure. We need the Akali. I'm trying to roll for Akali's here. Uh, but she's not coming out. We're going to give him Phantom Dancer as well. This combo is really good. We got to start building stuff. And then Zep. I want to give her Seraphs. So Seraph is always really good on Akali. That's how you build ninjas. And then this um, Health Belt. We're going to hold on. I'm going to wait a little bit because... I'm not sure if I want to give it to Shen or Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is two Kha'Zix away from being at three stars. So we're going to see a three star Kha'Zix this game. Most likely. Um, he is not going to show up as much because I'm at level seven. The higher level you are, the less chance of seeing cheaper units. So there's that. So we got the Zed. 
Damn, if I had kept my other Z, I would have had one Z away. But I sold them um, because I thought I had enough gold that turned to be level 7. So if I meet one of these two first two places, it's I think it's going to be a loss. I don't think I can beat this guy. I don't think I can beat this guy either. The Lucian with the Guardian Angel. Let's roll once. So one Kha'Zix away. I could just go Redemption, boys. Oh my god, he has double Guardian Angel. Does it proc twice? I've actually never seen someone put two Guardian Angels at once. Let's see what it does. Okay, we just have to kill this Lucian, boys. I just wonder if he comes alive. Like, if it actually works. Wow. It, okay, he came back alive once. Okay. We're gonna survive. We're gonna still live. Okay. He doesn't have that Guardian Angel aura around him, though. It looks like it doesn't... It almost looks like it doesn't proc twice, because it wouldn't you have that white thing around you after you revive once? Interesting. Damn it. Okay, I gotta roll for the cause or the Zed. I, I won't survive next turn for sure. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna risk it, because the thing is... If I, even if I have a 3 stars that I think I'll lose. Oh god, we're gonna lose to this guy. 100% sure. Let's just give him the giant's belt. Or maybe I should have gave it to Zed. Uh, but first third item, I would give him damage. Oh wait, hold on. We're, we're kicking his ass this time. Okay. Never mind. Ninja Assassin's coming through. See, the Ninja Cannon is, is vital to this build. I, Assassin Cannon is vital to this build. Uh, he's a ninja, right? So he gets the ninja assassin buff. Yeah, I want to give a damage item to Zed. I don't want to give Zed um, the giant spell. I guess I could have just given him that and it, like a, combined into a Zephyr. I like to give him a BF sword though. I'm going to grab a BF sword. Yeah, because the third item for Zed is usually Infinity Edge. That's the ideal Zed build. Um, Zed build, you want to go for Dragon's Claw, Phantom Dancer, and Infinity Edge. I could have went for a Zephyr. Oh, I could have went for a Zeke's. Right, cause um, oh, I should have given the Zeke's to Zed. Oh, that's too bad. I guess um, you know what? We're gonna actually give it to. I guess I'll have to give it to Shen. Can't really sell him. Now we gotta hope. We gotta cross our fingers here. Damn, we got a Kha'Zix again. Should I just sell the Zed? We got a Kali as well. Okay, we'll put Shen in the middle, so he gives the Zeke's bonus as well. I can't- I just don't want to sell these guys. I mean, I could, right? 8, 10, 12. I would have had 12 gold, I guess. I mean, if we lose, we lose. It's better to keep these guys, because they're close at 3 stars. And them at 3 stars, I think, matters more. Even if I had, let's say, enough gold for a 2-star Kali. Two star Akali wouldn't make a difference right now. I don't think it would. I could buy the. I, maybe I should have bought the Akali, but the three stars, man. Oh my god, dude, they're not showing up. The problem with Akali is I I need a lot of gold. I need eight gold to buy her if I get want to get her two stars. Come on, one more Zed. There we go. So the Z three stars for me is absolutely critical for this build. I think um, I should have put Z here for the Zeke's bonus. We we should beat this guy, unless this curse blade um, procs from the Karthus. Just kill that Karthus, dude. Yeah, the Karthus is almost gonna ult. But this, uh, I'm telling you, three star Z is like raid boss mode. I love 3 star Z. That's why I just got rid of the Kha'Zix there. That's why I didn't buy the Akali either. Akali at 2 stars is good, but 3 star Z is way better. And he has all my items too. Okay, so this turn... Um... Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna... We might lose this turn. 
we might lose to this guy, but not really sure. Yeah, this is this is not the easiest for assassins all the time. And oh, I only have seven champions on the board because this is what happens with ninja assassins. You roll so much to find your assassins. He also has a Rabidons, so he's gonna be doing extra damage with his um, attack, I believe. Okay, that was pretty easy. It just looked kind of concerning. So this is a really good item for Akali. So that's good. We'll get her. Let's just buy these two. I'm going to be under 10 gold anyways. Um, let's try to roll for... Now we need a 2-star Akali. We need a 2-star Akali for sure. Just check everybody's positioning. They're more towards the left hand. So you want to put your non-assassins more towards the right hand. That's what it means. So, yeah. Yeah, you, I'm going to put the most important... Uh, so Zed and Akali both get Zeke's and the cannon locket bonus here. Yeah, even if I, tr if I sell the cannon and Zed here, we're going to be at 10 gold. I'm not going to have enough gold for, two, uh, for a 2-star Akali. Unless, if I roll once here, I get 2 Akalis, then I can buy both of them. But it's better to save gold here and not roll. Because I won't even have enough gold for the Akalis. There we go. Second place. Look at that. And this is a ranked game too. Um, so it's not it's not easy. Ninja Essence are definitely um, viable if you build it my way. This build is still good. It's still a really good build. So now we're going to roll for the... Um, you can also get 3 star evidence pretty easy. I kind of need to save gold. But we're probably going to just end up losing to this guy if... So you notice how he positioned his guys away from my guys again. Yeah. So I put um, Shen a little bit closer to the left hand side. So we try to pull away. His team is really strong. The two Guardians Angels is going to let him survive. If he didn't have the two Guardians Angels, I think it's a guaranteed win. Because this set is amazing right now. He takes like no damage from anybody. Even with two Guardians Angel, GG, dude. I should just, um, I think I should just save my gold. Wow. The chance of us getting, um, a three-star, I mean, we're just gonna, now we're, it's just either win or lose. I think we're just gonna straight up win. He's trying to reposition his guys to the front line. I can't, yeah, we're just gonna win. Um, whatever, I'll just buy the cannons. I could have tried to roll for a two-star Akali, but... Yeah, just putting all these guys to the to this side as close as he can to Shen and Kennen. Um, it won't really make a huge difference. He has a gap at the back. We're gonna jump to the back, immediately kill those guys. I actually didn't expect to get first place with his team. Oh, you know what? He's repositioning kind of work, but look at, look at how beast this set is. Absolutely beast. He just does not take damage. There you go. Oh, he has one health. He is so lucky. I was like, he definitely lost. Oh, we're picking that Akali for sure. Definitely picking the Akali. We're going to try to roll for a two-star Akali. Maybe I should have saved my gold instead of getting the cannon. I wonder if that's his third Karthus. That would be pretty deadly. So that that reposition kind of worked out to be better for him. I'm going to have to try to put my Shen as far, far away, away from him. Once again, the reason why is to pull away his formation. So you put your non-tanks as far as possible away from your opponent. So he gets pulled. There we go, we got the Akali. I have to sell the cannon. Yeah, that's more important. Yeah, he's gonna keep his formation the way it is. I'm gonna change last minute here. There we go. Change last minute, so Shen is a little bit further away from his team. Once again, I'm trying to drag his guys. I can't put Shen in the... Nor ideally, I put him in the corner, but I can't because I need to give a Zeke's bonus to everybody, right? So keep that in mind. If you have an aura item like Locket or Zeke's, you need to give... Uh, you need to give the bonus to your left and right-hand side mans as much as you can. And once again, Zeke's and Locket, they give bonus shield, bonus attack speed to two units to the left-hand side, two units to the right-hand side. So let's take a look at the stats if the game doesn't go buggy mode because sometimes it goes buggy and doesn't show us the stats. Uh, but there we go. 
so that i'm pretty much at uh, platinum 2 almost here and um that's it i only had seven champions in this game uh we beat a guy with one more champion we had a, a three star z like i expected getting three star z is very easy now uh, because ninja assassins are very rarely seen anymore as you guys can see none of these guys had ninja assassins however cannons are very popular one two three four five six seven of us had cannons and akali sometimes is popular as well just because she's strong on her own but you can see um definitely there is no other assassin builds pretty much pikes are pretty popular too there's a couple of pikes with the gunslingers uh, but um, mainly Zed is um, almost never bought anymore. He's very easy to get three stars. So my tip is if you go for if you go for the Ninja Assassins, the first three star champion you're going to most likely get is Zed. So if if you see Zeds, I just buy them. And once again, double locket stacking still kind of works. Uh, and the most ideal build for Kennen, and this is a very important part of this build, is to to give him double lockets completely doable right which is what i did in this game make items make sure you get items in the shared carousel that builds into double lockets or the yuma's ghost blade so yuma's ghost blade once again spatula and a bf sword locket is the large rod and the chain vest and you give all of them onto cannon you need to make cannon to an assassin as well so there so you have one less champion you need to put on the board for the six assassin combination this is this build is really good when you have four ninjas and six assassins when you have that magic number boom you're gonna kill things and i actually beat a team couple teams in here i thought i wasn't gonna win still viable still top three um meta team cop so go ahead and give it a shot once again if you enjoyed the video make sure you go you guys go check out my twitch stream as well twitch.tv slash redox with a triple x and remember to subscribe comment and like as well check out my other guide videos if you guys want to know how to build other comps let me know in the comments below as well and i can definitely make more videos for that thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time